So how did we take our bus from this to this to this to this? In this vlog, we are gonna tell you all about that. We're the Hildebrand family, and we decided to take a risk. In the fall of 2020, during the global pandemic, we purchased a retired school bus that we bought at auction, sight unseen, and took it back to our home in Tampa. From there, we spent the next eight months turning it into our dream tiny home on wheels for our family of five. We are following our life by design and currently traveling around the United States of America. Come along for the ride. Hey everyone, and welcome back. This week, we are very excited because we are in the Orlando area, Sanford specifically. We had a wonderful time in the Keys, and now we've just arrived at Media One Solutions for a very fun and exciting treat to happen to our bus. We mentioned in a previous vlog that we are pairing up with Media One Identity Solutions to wrap our bus, and now we're here. A buddy of mine owns a sign company up here in Sanford, Florida, just outside of Orlando. Saw him a couple weeks ago and he was like, dude, we should totally collaborate and wrap your bus. I was like, okay, but I think it's gonna look really cool. Here we are, we'll take a little tour of the facilities, we'll check it out, and we'll see what this wrap looks like when they're all said and done. We know what the bus looks like. Let's see what it looks like when it's all finished. I've known each other for what, 20 years now? Yeah, 21, 22 years. 22 so, uh, years, I jumping out, out of airplanes. To, yeah, when I came out to see how to jump, you were a professional skydiver. We're fine, professional <laughs> skydiver. Like, how yeah. many skydives do you have? 7,000 jumps. 7,000. You know, it all comes full circle. Here I am living in the school bus again. <laughs> yeah. right? Man, this thing is crazy, huh? So, you guys painted it blue and white. Yep. And we'll blue obviously, white. obviously, off the yellow. And then um, we're going to come in and do a partial wrap. So, we're not wrapping the whole bus, you know, not getting rid of all the blue and the white because we want to put something on there that shows people what you what you're doing. Uh, you know, on our YouTube channel, we've seen a couple of buses being wrapped and we do it, but it's the challenge because you've got all these rails on here, got all those rivets, all the screws on there. They're all areas that the vinyl has to, you know, suck up around. Guys are on the other side right now. So they've already started? Oh, yeah. yeah, man, they're yeah, cool. ready to go. You want to check it yeah, out? Yeah, let's see it again. Let's all right, cool. Oh, man, check that out. Oh, awesome. That Look is cool. That. Yeah, obviously we saw the design on the on, on paper, but holy cow, it's uh, it, it, does, it, it looks giant now when you're here, right? It's on awesome. paper, it's a little bit different, but that's definitely some good coverage on that thing. Yeah. If you come up here and take a look at some of these areas, so this, this 3M vinyl was designed to, to set on here, and we don't, you know, people say, oh, do you heat it up? Not really. The only time we heat it up is when we're doing like around rivets or these little deals because we, you know, the little ribs and whatnot because we got to get the vinyl to be a little bit more flexible and go down into those areas so you can kind of see as the guys are doing this now. They've got their heat guns out, they got their pokers and their rollers, and they're just rolling that vinyl. But look how good that vinyl goes around those. That's a big screw, right? Yeah, yeah. And it goes around that while simultaneously coming around this ridge and this ridge, you know. Yep. So that's, uh, you know, it's really testimony to the 3M product and it's really designed to take this type of, you know, environment. So when you get done with this, you have your image on there, but it looks like paint. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it already does. It's incredible. So we do uh, about 70 vehicles a month. You know, that's from, you know, buses and trucks and, you know, supercars and motorcycles and boats. This is where we'll do all our supercars, you know, Ferraris, Lamborghinis, anything that's doing something custom. Like this Audi R8 is in here now. Right after we get done with yours, we'll be dismantling this car and wrapping it for a charity. Then this will be an episode as well, so you have to check that out. But it is pretty cool that you guys are doing your YouTube channel. We're doing ours. You can really tell that these guys love what they do. This is 7,000 square feet of nothing but wraps. That being said, wraps are only one third of the business. The bigger portion of the business is the signs. Media One is comprised of two major divisions, wraps, like what we're getting done to our bus, and signage. Signage is Rick's expertise, so he continued the tour of the facility. At Media One, they do everything in-house. 
from design, drafting, painting, fabrication, printing, installation, and warehousing. They use the most advanced technology and materials that HP and 3M offer, which really shows in the photo quality finishes on a massive scale, as you see on our bus. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes So how do we feel about this wrap? We absolutely love it. We think it's incredible. It's a showpiece, right? So it, the bus is already a conversation piece, I think, but this wrap makes us as a family even more approachable because it's really putting our, our brand out there on a big billboard that's driving down the highway. Cars are beeping at us, waving at us, giving us thumbs up, uh, and it's really cool. And people start commenting on, on our YouTube channels and, and putting, um, you know, can any more go wrong? Yes, the baby can wake up. So I say highway. We really are trying to avoid uh, taking the highways as much as really taking more back roads and seeing the country as we go. It's really fun now going through all of our video comments when we come back from driving down the road because people are saying, hey, we saw you here or there, and just responding to those comments is often very positive and a lot of fun for us. So it's really cool. Yeah, we overall I think we tend to have a lot of really positive interactions with people whether it's, you know, oh, I wish I had done that when I was younger, or I did it when I was younger, or I'd love to do that now. And I think it just really brings people a lot of joy to see an idea come to life. <laughs> we will link to their video in the description down below. Their channel is fantastic, and you should really check them out. It's actually been uh, a few weeks now that we've had this bus wrap. When we were there, and we were going through the wrap, they kind of did their production. Now this is sort of our, uh, our take on, on the whole wrap and what it was like to have it done. A huge milestone that we just made in big part, I think, to the wrap itself, but then also you guys out there watching our channel is we hit 1,000 subscribers. Thank you so, so much. This is a huge milestone for us and we really appreciate every one of you guys that have liked and subscribed and shared our videos along the way. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Please keep doing it. Tell your friends. It really helps us out. We're having a fantastic time. We're really loving what we're doing. We're about two months on the road now, driving around, no clue where we're going, no clue what we're doing, but we're having a blast. Uh, and it's for, you know, because of people like you and the comments that you leave really helps um, drive the desire and the want to create more content. So thanks a lot. We're, uh, we're hoping to keep it coming strong. Hi, are you waking up? I see our little baby. Mom, didn't you do uh, an itinerary? I will link down in the description a free three-day guide. This is the guide that we followed when we went down to the Florida Keys, our exact trip. It is made for the RV community in mind, but anybody can follow it. It's very camping friendly, lots of good places to eat down in the Keys, and pretty family friendly too. Obviously, we've got three little ones, so making sure that their needs were met in this fun three-day travel itinerary was very important to us. So I We'll link that down below. If you guys have any questions, feel free to just follow that. Uh, the company did a really great job putting this sign together. It's not a sign, it's a wrap, but it's all the same. Um, on the airplane. airplane. Can you pop your hand out like this? <laughs> He's gonna hit and is waking. Okay, and it's certainly, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that. <laughs>